Hello, this is Tofa Bergsten, an MD PhD student at the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Medicine. This video is part of our Survivors Advising Scientists educational program, a bi-directional educational platform meant to connect our communities and increase scientific literacy and engagement. Our goal is to bring everyone to the table for scientific discussions related to cancer science and therapies. This is video number eight, cancer metastasis. Metastasis is when cancer cells spread from the original tumor location to another location to form a secondary tumor. It is typically considered the last step in cancer progression. Metastasis is a complex biological process, but we'll cover a few of the basics in this video. Once a cancer has metastasized or reached a new location, it typically has gained a few common characteristics. For example, metastases of a cancer are often more difficult to detect than the original tumor. Metastases are often found in more vital organs like the liver, lungs, brain, or bone marrow. Metastases are also often more aggressive or progress more quickly and resistant to therapies than primary tumors. This makes them more difficult to treat. Cancer cells can spread to new areas of the body or disseminate or metastasize in different ways. Let's take a look at some of the most common now. Hematogenous spread is when cancer cells invade blood vessels and travel to new parts of the body via circulation. Lymphatic spread is when cancer cells invade lymphatic vessels and travel to new body parts through these vessels. Some cancer cells can spread to body cavities near their primary organs, like the peritoneal space around the intestinal organs, the pleural space around the lungs, and the pericardial space around the heart. These routes are especially important because they exist throughout the entire body. This makes it somewhat difficult to know where cancer cells will travel before they settle down to start growing a new tumor. Cancer cells must complete many steps in order to metastasize, which makes it difficult for every cancer cell to metastasize since not all of them are able to complete each step in the metastatic pathway. Let's take a look at the example of hematogenous spread or spreading of cancer cells through the blood vessels. In order to metastasize through blood vessels, cancer cells would first need to be able to detach from the primary tumor's site, here demonstrated in the lungs. We can think of this as a person packing for a trip and walking out the front door of their house. Next, cancer cells would need to exit the primary tissue. We can think of this as our traveler leaving their front gate. The cancer cell would then need to be able to enter blood vessels, which is like our traveler getting in their car so they can travel somewhere new. Once in the blood vessels, cancer cells must survive, like our traveler must survive by stopping at gas stations for fuel or food on their trip. Next, cancer cells need to exit the blood vessels, which we can think of as our traveler taking an exit on a highway to their new destination. Now, cancer cells need to land on and seed into new tissue, like our traveler needs to park in the driveway and enter their new home. Once in the new tissue, cancer cells must survive. And we can think of this as our traveler unpacking in the new home and finding groceries to make the home livable. Finally, cancer cells must begin to grow in the new tissue site. And we can think of this as our traveler making themselves at home and spending the rest of their life in this new house. Another important concept to cover is local versus distant metastasis. Local metastasis is when cancers spread to another part of the same organ they started in. For example, if cancer cells spread from one lobe of a lung to another lobe of that lung, or to a second lung. Distant metastasis is when cancers spread to another organ that is different from the organ they started in. For example, if cancer cells spread from a lung to a bone. Most cancer types have areas of the body they are more likely to metastasize to. 
scientists sometimes refer to this as metastatic tropism. This likelihood of cancers traveling to predictable places was discovered by looking at data from many patients over a long period of time and is used to give us a good idea of where cancer may spread. For example, lung cancer typically spreads to the other lung, to the bones, or to the brain. You can think of this trait as how certain birds typically travel to the same southern locations in the winter, which was discovered by looking at their migration patterns over time. Once a cancer has metastasized, it is more likely that the disease is severe and difficult to treat. But scientists are currently working to find ways to stop cancer cells from being able to metastasize in hopes of finding new cancer treatments. Thank you for reviewing video number eight. We'd also like to thank all those involved in the creation of these videos, including the University of Illinois Cancer Center and its patient brigade for providing feedback and shaping the direction of these modules. We invite you to reach out to us if you have any questions or feedback you'd like to share. Thanks again.